Okay, so what you need to know when um, reading Siemens SID803? Uh, when you do backup, if you after you click on read, when the backup is complete, it will prompt you to save the files. I will show you right now. So I'm reading. Now it's reading the ECU. The data led it's blinking. Okay, now it's reading the flash. So first of all, it reads identify ECU. Read device info, reading backup, reading micro, and then it starts. Then reads flash, and then we are waiting to see. At the end, it's very, very important to remember this. So, take extra step steps and extra care when doing a, a backup because at the end of the backup it will ask you how to save the files this is a very very important thing uh, as uh, the way you choose to save the files uh, will give you just some information or it will give you all the information you need so if you choose at the end to save the file as one single file it will only save the ecu map the ecu file map yeah and if you choose to save as multiple files, it will uh, save the ECU field map, the micro map uh, uh, or software, the extra flash software and the EEPROM software. So this is what I'm talking about. You can now save, uh, just put a name for example, I'll put this, usually you need to, to give the hardware and software number. And when you click on save, it will ask you, do you want to save the files separately? If you click on yes, it will save four files. If you click on no, it will save one single file. Clicking on no will only save this uh, 453 kilobytes file which is the ECU fuel map. If you click on yes, it will save all these four files, which are the ECU map, MPC, FLS, and EPR, which, um, so, EPROM, extra flash, and the uh, microprocessor. So, remember, as you can see, I saved this file it's one single file with this name which i just gave a random name and it's 453 kilobytes and it applies to writing as well if you choose write and the restore box it's a ticket then you need to select this 453 kilobytes file or any tune the custom tune for your echo 453 kilobytes file um, and if you want to restore the microprocessor, you need to check it and to select the microprocessor file. Same with the extra flash and same with the EEPROM. And if you only want to write the tune file on your um, ECU, just uh, leave the restore box ticked as it is. And just click on write and you will be able to choose the 453 kilobytes file which uh, we saved earlier by clicking on no save as a single file so if you save multiple files as multiple files it will give you all four files needed so you will have a complete backup if you choose to save as a single file you will only have uh, the eq file map uh, 
backup. So remember, do a complete backup, choose as separated files, choose as separated files. So when it asks you save as a single file, click on no. That is very important. If you don't do that, you will uh, wake up that you have not done a proper complete backup of your uh, Siemens SID803 ECU. Thanks for watching, share, like and subscribe for more interesting videos.